yeah, I mean, nah. Hey, I'm doing a lot better this week. Um, I was able to schedule a therapist appointment and um, I talked to my primary care doctor about my situation and he put me on some Lexapro um, for depression. So far, uh, it's been helping me at least prevent me from getting too, too low in depression and like it saved me from like wanting to cry at work and just leave you know so I guess that's something I finished my very first piece of chain mail I made a bow tie not a bow tie but a tie um, and I made it the transgender flag colors to celebrate my three years on testosterone and I had so much fun making it I feel like maybe I'm on the right track to doing something fun with my time that I like to do while also making other people happy maybe I hope I can produce enough of them and make enough and I, I kind of worry about finances a lot. I had a lot of fun making it, and it's so cute. I like the black. Uh, uh, well, I like, I like how you can see the pink and the blue, and the black kind of just blends in. But uh, I didn't like how it, um, at work I wore like a maroon shirt, and it kind of disappeared <clears throat> against the maroon shirt. So I'm wondering if. Uh, Maybe a white shirt to photograph it next. That would be cute, maybe. I wonder what kind of an outfit it would look nice with. Um, I hope I'm starting to make a blue one for my, my puppy. I'm gonna make a little short one. Um, <laughs> And that'll be cute. I'm gonna, I'm maybe gonna make a little collar to go around instead of just a chain. I don't know. I might get lazy and just make the chain as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how many rings I have left. I don't. I don't have a whole lot of rings left. I only ordered 500 of each color. And uh, I just ordered some lilac ones, and because one of my friends suggested to make a lilac colored tie. And I also ordered some, just an assortment of a thousand different colors. Um, or an assortment of their colors from this particular website and a thousand pieces. So hopefully I'll get some, maybe maybe I'll be able to make a rainbow tie or a pride tie with the uh, thousand piece one. I don't know if I'll have enough of each color or whatnot, but we'll see. I, I kind of want to make like a diagonal pattern next instead of the straight up and down because you don't see a whole lot of ties with the straight up and down lines anyway. So, but I still love how this turned out. It's so freaking cool. It feels so nice against your skin. I love, it's lightweight. It's so much fun to fidget with and especially if you have anxiety like I was just just like palming it in my hands at work you know to to self-soothe and if it, it just feels nice and cold and it just looks awesome you know it's kind of like the new fidget spinner of Thai I'd say I love it definitely works for me I think I'll wear it more often maybe more colors and I just wore it with like a short sleeve shirt, you know? So, I like it. Um, and I hope to make more of them, so. <sighs> let me know what you think of those. And let me know what uh, in the comments, like what other colors do you think would be dope? Or like different uh, color styles, like two-toned or like what kind of patterns would look cool because I kind of want to explore different stuff. Maybe make some other items as well. Maybe make some 
uh, bikini tops or something or bracelets. We'll see what I dive into next. I'm very excited. I was recently like doubting my uh, gender and my masculinity recently um, because of something that happened and I realized that I am me. I'm Koei. <laughs> I'm not here nor there. I'm just, I feel like a transgender man, you know, and I feel happy with how I look now. I feel happy with how I feel, you know. Um, I, I feel so much more confident in who I am and how I present and I feel amazing being regarded as a man. Um, I do get, I think people view me as like a, a, a gay man in public because I'm very flamboyant um, just as my normal self. I never really not my mannerisms didn't change too much. Um, Sometimes I find myself matching the energies of like uh, men sometimes like when I interact with them at work or, or like customers. Um, sometimes I'll lower my voice <laughs> and be like, hey, how's it going? You know, I'll <laughs> be like chill, you know, instead of like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> you know, with uh, sometimes with women um, or if I just have more energy, sometimes I'll just, you know, come out like that I'm very I try to be very animated at work to um, make people really happy so <laughs> um, it's it's a lot of fun just being me I love being me and I'm happy with how I've uh, I'm happy with the conclusion that I found that I'm a trans man like at first I thought that I was a, like a cis man, you know, like I wanted to be a man, but I, now I kind of realize like I don't need to fully transition or anything. I just feel good. I just feel better about who I am now with being regarded and respected as a man, I guess. I'm celebrating three years on testosterone. I'm so happy. I, I, I've loved every minute of it. And I'm so happy that I've, that I've gone through and become who I've wanted to be. And just become Koi and find my Koi. Koe means voice in Japanese, and I felt like mine was kind of stifled for a lot of my life. So that's why I gave that name to myself. I'm finally finding it. And I hope you guys find yours too. And I'm so glad that I'm starting to come out of this, this wall that I've been holding up for a long time, I think. And I think I'm startly, starting to finally get through it. I feel like I'm finally being heard. Any subscribers I get is a hug of support, and any like I get is a little kiss. <laughs> so... I hope to see you guys soon, and I'll see you next time. Bye.